What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about the current drops we see all across the cryptocurrency market. If you go to coin market cap and you look at it, you see it's all double digit red. And I know how it feels if you just invested a few days ago. Maybe you found out about cryptocurrencies a few days ago and you put some money and now you see it's all double digit red. And the reason why I know how it feels, because that is exactly how I started with cryptocurrencies. I invested myself back in 2013 for the first time and I bought at $1,000 when Bitcoin was $1,000. Everyone was talking about Bitcoin back then. It reached $1,000, it was completely insane. Everyone was um, excited for the future and people were talking about Bitcoin just like today and then it dropped to 200. <laughs> so this was my first experience with cryptocurrencies and that is where I also learned the nature of the markets that it is extremely volatile, it is a new market, it is completely uh, it's completely decentralized and it's 24 7 so things can happen while you sleep a very un unusual thing if you're just uh, used to the stock market in your country and this is what really taught me a good lesson back then and of course because I was so interested in the, in the technology I as a programmer really uh, was excited to learn about the technology and this kept me interested in cryptocurrencies although I lost uh, the majority <laughs> you know of my first investment back then I was extremely interested still but Something we might see if we see a continuous drop is that people will start losing interest and this will happen because people are just not aware of what cryptocurrencies are and in that sense I think it's so important to spread the knowledge about things beyond the price. We really have to go beyond the price because otherwise people will lose interest if their investments go bad in cryptocurrencies and it is it, it will be a shame <laughs> if it happens because cryptocurrencies are so much more than the price. In fact, the price itself might be the least interesting things of, of things of cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. Because the price usually is what attracts people, but then people learn about everything else. There is to Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the decentralization and the dApps, smart contracts, what industries they will change and so on and so forth. And they're still interested and they're still building applications, they're building companies on top of the blockchain and they push through these uh, negative cycles. That being said, I'm not, I'm not telling you that we will enter a bear market. And this is something we will talk a bit later on in this video. But the nature of cryptocurrency markets are the following, that it is extremely volatile, it is 24-7 and you really need to have nerves of steel if you are in this, uh, uh, in this speculation. And the second thing I really want to highlight in this video is the importance of knowledge. Knowledge is so extremely important when it comes to cryptocurrencies because no one really has nerves of steel. People who have nerves of steel do have them because they have knowledge. Knowledge is what can give you nerves. Because if you understand the implications of cryptocurrencies, you know what Bitcoin will do in the world, you know what Bitcoin already does in the world, how it helps people all over the globe with hyperinflation, corruption, financial exclusion, and so on and so forth. You know what Ethereum will do to the world, you know what decentralized applications will do to many industries, how finance, insurance, real estate will be completely changed, and you know the future of the internet, of Web 3.0 and decentralized websites. If you understand that, of course you will not be as affected by a short-term drop as someone who just bought Bitcoin because his friends bought Bitcoin and they don't really understand what it is. It is like they are collecting Pokemons, so they have Coinbase, they have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. They don't really know the difference between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, they still have them. Of course, if you are that person without deeper knowledge, without deeper understanding, you will be completely affected. And here in Sweden, there was uh, th th there was this uh, saying in the media that buying Bitcoin is like buying a lottery, and it is completely true if you have no understanding. If you have zero understanding and you buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or something else, then yes, it is like buying a lottery because you will not know what happens. You will not know what happens. But if you have the knowledge it is not like that at all. Then you actually understand the future and you understand the implications and you 
are confident in what you're doing. You have your own worldview, you have your own knowledge base. And something really funny that happened here and happens here in Sweden is that I have a very good relationship with the founder of BTCX and it is the largest cryptocurrency exchange here in Sweden. And they've been around for a very long time. In fact, when I bought my first Bitcoin in 2013, I did it through BTCX. And so, Something the founder of BTCX, Christian, uh, told me was that people call him and they ask him if he is number one, the CEO of Bitcoin. Number two, they are wondering what is happening to the Bitcoin price, as if he has any connection to the global Bitcoin price, to the global market of Bitcoin. <coughs> and, and of course, he has a connection because he... <coughs> and of course, this is very funny because if you have just a bit of knowledge about Bitcoin, you understand that it is decentralized, there is no CEO, contacting Christian from BTCX is completely useless because there is no CEO in Bitcoin. But you, it just shows you a picture of that new people entering Bitcoin, entering this field, they have so little knowledge, they have no clue. And this is why I'm running this channel to educate people about cryptocurrencies, to about Bitcoin. And this is why I have, have so many, many videos and this is why it is driving me each and every single single day to do more videos. So understanding the knowledge is completely crucial. And uh, as I told you, we have two scenarios that this could continue in. One scenario is that it is just a short term drop, a short term correction. And we've seen this several times this year, drops with uh, 20 or 30 percent uh, and then it will just continue upwards. So this is one scenario. Scenario number two is that Sooner or later, maybe now, maybe in a year, we will enter a bear market like we did in 2013. Because when it dropped from 1000 to 200, it never really reached 1000 for several years. And so we had a bear market for uh, two or three years. And uh, this is a possibility with Bitcoin currently and with cryptocurrencies currently. As I, I think sooner or later we will have some kind of bear market because nothing grows to the skies without corrections, without bear markets. It's all about cycles. But of course, because the industry is so new, because it is so exciting and so many people are joining, we might not see a bear market for several years be before it stabilizes and we enter these cycles of economy uh, in cryptocurrency markets as well. But it is completely possible and it is something you have to keep in mind and this is something you really have to think about when you're doing your calculations and your risk assessment and you should really do risk assessments with any investments and taking your knowledge, taking your understanding of the industry, how cryptocurrencies will change different spheres, different uh, industry processes and so on and so forth. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Something else that I really that I myself enjoyed watching today was a video done by, by Box Mining that I will link in the description. And so what he said was very interesting that during the drops during bear markets, this is where when we reassess cryptocurrencies. Because when everything is just exploding, going to the moon, it's so hard to, you know, take a step back and look at cryptocurrencies objectively to really evaluate is this token even worth anything? Or is this token really worth anything? Do I really like this token? Because when we see a drop, everyone is negative and everyone is afraid, this is when everyone starts to reevaluate re their investments and reevaluate the projects, which is completely impossible to do when it's just going upwards, then everything looks fine, everything looks fantastic, but drops and the bear markets are necessary if we want to have a quality industry. Because when we see a drop, this is where the, when the serious players survive and the rest disappear. So just some thoughts, guys. What do you think? What do you think about this situation? And also when it comes to knowledge, I of course have this YouTube channel. This is what drives me each and every single day. But I'm also launching an online course about the fundamentals in blockchain technology. So here on YouTube, you can get a lot of knowledge. But the academy is for people who are extremely serious about their learning. Because it will be a structured course. You will get exams, you will get quizzes. And I will guide you by the hand in a very well done and well structured way. So the course will be released in February, but if you go to academy.ivanotech.com and buy it on pre-sale now, you will get more than 50% off. Or if you just want to use this channel 
this is completely fine you don't have to buy the academy the academy is for people who want to take the next step guys thank you so much for watching smash that bell button so that you're always up to date smash the like button and if you are a new viewer you should definitely subscribe to, to this channel because you will find this channel interesting i myself i'm a software developer and i'll see you guys next time